Hi, Ryan here with Nerd Tech 101. Today we're going to be showing and answering a very important question of how to install Plex on the jailbroken Apple TV 4.4.4. This is the current release. Um, most people may have been informed, but Season Pass has now done an untethered jailbreak for the Apple TV version 4.4.4, but one of the problems here is that Plex is not fully supported yet. Now if you're like me, one of the main things I use my Apple TV for is as my Plex receiver. So we're going to go ahead and show you a few tricks here to go ahead and get this installed and get it working on your Apple TV. So you will need to be able to SSH into your Apple TV. You'll do this by using terminal. So we're going to go ahead and launch terminal here. We're going to SSH root at apple tv dot local should come back here a second alright so that didn't find that we're gonna go straight to our IP address then 10.0.1.117 it's gonna tell us that it has found the key, we're going to go ahead and type in yes here. Now it's going to ask me for my password. This is the password that is given by the Apple TV. So if it's defaulted, it's going to be Alpine. Now, as you see, we are ahead and logged in here as root. So while we're logged in as root, we're going to need to run a few commands. Now this link here will be in our, our notes, but this is the official how-to document for installing this on your uh, Apple TV. You can downgrade, listed right here in this section, as well as we can go ahead and do the install. Now one of the first things you're going to want to do is before you start running any of this, you are going to want to run this echo command right here. So we're going to go ahead and run the echo command by copying and pasting it. Perfect. Now that we have the echo command run, we're going to go ahead and run the first one, which is going to remove the old unsupported version of Plex. Now it's going to ask me, are you sure you want to do this? We're going to go ahead and say yes. Alright, now that we've removed it, we're going to go ahead and do the get update. What this does is it checks against and pulls a most up-to-date list. You'll see it work here. As you see it using Sedilia to pull up all our information. Alright. Now if you go ahead and run the last command, this will install the beta 4 version of 0.9.0. See, it's gone ahead and done it. It's going to ask us for our permission again. We're going to go ahead and say yes. And now, it has installed this on our Apple TV. Now, if you go to your Apple TV, you'll be able to see it. Let's go ahead and take a look at our Apple TV. Alright, so here we're back at our Apple TV. We're going to go ahead and see. Right off the bat, we have a Plex listed here. We're going to go ahead and go down. Check it. And as we see, there's our XServe. So it's automatically picking up our local server. Let's go ahead and see if we can get this working. So it appears it's pulling up. And everything is functioning as it should be. Pick up! Tables 12, 4, 11. Hey, when you get a second, stop looking at my boobs. <laughs> Excuse me. Waitress? Dude? We need some. As you see, 
we have Plex back working on our Apple TV and it is back and functional just to show this is running the Apple TV version 4.4.4 we'll get a little closer look at that and you have it all functioning with the Plex All right, now if you have any problems, questions, or concerns, feel free to go ahead and uh, leave some comments on our website here or add some comments to our video. We'll go ahead and try to answer and address all your problems as it goes. Again, you'll have all your functions as what they did. Do you note that in the 0 0.9.0, they did remove the refresh button, so you'll notice that that is no longer an option. All right.